Today I will explain how we get power during fault in transmission line. Here I have shown a simple transmission system. This is shown in the form of single line diagram. Why it is called single line diagram? Because this system is three phase. But everywhere I have shown only single line. So it is called the single line diagram. This is easy to draw. Here I have shown three line. This means this is three phase system. This is generator at the generating station. Power is generated at low voltage. This is a step up transformer. So voltage is increased from low voltage to high voltage using this step up transformer. Then this is transmission line. Power is transmitted at high voltage. And this is load. Here again we have a transformer. This is a step down transformer. We convert high voltage into low voltage using a step down transformer. This transmission line length may be few hundred kilometer, maybe hundred kilometer, maybe two hundred kilometer, maybe three hundred kilometer. Now suppose in this line a fault happens or this wire is broken. So I will break the wire. So this is fault. There may be three phase, but fault may be in one phase only. Still power cannot be transmitted here. But still we get the power here. How we get the power? I will explain now. So, instead of one line, two transmission lines are used. They are in parallel. The power will flow from this line also, from this line also. Now suppose fault comes here, in this line, like this. So power cannot be flown through this line, but still power will flow using this transmission line. So we will continue to get the power here. But what happens? Here problem is there, then we have to repair this transmission line. How we repair, what we do, I will tell you now. So this transmission line will have some arrangement like this at both the end. This will be here also, I have not shown. These two are breakers and these two are isolators. When problem happens here, what we will do, this breaker and this breaker will be opened. So this line is disconnected from high voltage. Afterward, using these two isolators, we will ground this, we will close this isolator. This is earth, green color is earth. So this line and this line is grounded and isolated from high voltage. Now this line can be repaired. After completing the repair of this line, we will open this isolator and close the breaker and power will start flowing from both the transmission lines because we have repaired this fault. During fault in one line, we use only one transmission line. 
so power transmission capacity of the system becomes less today we will close now